What's up everyone, AMG64 here, welcome back to another video and today I'll be doing a movie review on Godzilla Minus One. This time there will be no spoilers in this movie review video, so I won't bring up no spoilers at all. I'm just going to talk about my experience and my thoughts on the movie, so let's get right into it. So, so when I watched Godzilla Minus One, I was very excited to see the movie. But I was very terrified watching the movie because it has so much drama in the movie. It was very terrifying. It was so frightening, so eerie. Heck, it was the most impactful Godzilla movie I ever watched. It was so terrifying. So, the plot in the movie was very, very amazing, yet terrifying though. It was pretty scary though. The human characters in the movie, they did so well with the acting. It just made it so perfect. Like, so much drama between the hum human characters. It was kind of, it was pretty emotional. And yeah, when Godzilla shows up on screen, we already know Godzilla's going to cause so much destruction in the movie. It was insane. But pretty much, it just makes me think that Godzilla Minus One is almost like a remake of the 1954 Godzilla movie. But yeah, more modern and more terrifying. Holy crap. Dude. Dude, it was so t it was so terrifying. What Godzilla did in the movie, so much destruction, so much chaos that he caused, it was crazy. It was so crazy. I was so terrified. Heck, when Godzilla used that atomic breath, it was like one of the most powerful atomic breaths that Godzilla has ever done. Like it just did so much damage in the movie. It was crazy. But in the end of the movie of Godzilla Minus One, well, I'm not bringing out no spoilers, we already know that Godzilla will return someday in another Godzilla movie. And he's gonna do the exact same thing, like cause so much destruction, so much havoc in Japan once again. So, I am very excited for more movies from Toho. Godzilla Minus One, it was so great, it was fantastic though, it was so scary. And pretty much, it just sometimes gives me the MonsterVerse vibes, like let's say, the Godzilla 2014 vibes. It kind of does, but yet more horrifying. Toe really popped it off. Like, seriously, bringing Godzilla back to its evil roots just to destroy Japan and cause so much destruction was just perfect. And Godzilla Minus One was pretty much of a masterpiece. So with that being said, I really enjoyed the movie so much. Just like I love being a Godzilla fan growing up pretty much. Like I understand about what Godzilla really represents. So with that being said, if you guys haven't seen Godzilla Minus One, I recommend you guys checking that movie out. It was worth the watch. It was absolutely terrifying, yet fantastic. It was perfect. Such a masterpiece. So thank you guys so much for watching this uh, movie review. If you guys really enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications, leave a like, and leave a comment down below. If you guys have finally finished watching Godzilla Minus One, let me know what are your thoughts about Godzilla Minus One in the comment section. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.